This is how I start every painting. Blacks, whites, and grays. My name is Sarah Boardman. Art begins with a blank canvas. I'm a portrait painter. That's what I do, it's my life. An empty space full of potential. Blank canvas is terrifying. But with a single stroke. People think the eyes give the person their life, but the mouth actually gives them their likeness. A narrative begins to form. You, you portray emotions, human beings, their, their life, their soul. So I started with painting President Obama when uh, he was in office, and I finished that in 2011. It's an enormous step in a portrait painter's life. He was the first African-American president. He needed to be proud and brave. There's a pressure to painting presidents. It was a long process. There is a lot of paperwork involved, a lot of bureaucracy, yes, a lot. And this is what I put to the committee and explained why. And I have to make the photographs acceptable to everyone in a neutral way. So far, Sarah has painted two for the Colorado Capitol. President Trump, um, I wanted him to look strong and thoughtful, but I didn't want him to look angry. He's not shakable. It's not about the issues, not about the left or the right. At the door of my studio, I try to leave any politics behind. For her, it's about the history. Because in a hundred years, if things are still standing, you know, then people can say, oh, well, that was a President Ben. Three, two, one. It's truly an art to make these two complement each other. Upon the wall behind me and around all of us here, there are those that history has not been very kind to. There are those we revere. Painting in 10 years' time will be another president on the wall, and there'll be two or three following him, and people will have forgotten about the carry-on that went with, with him. And like the blank canvas, Sarah sees a president's term as full of possibilities. In Colorado Springs, Megan Lopez, Denver 7.